Bubble wrap might be the ultimate fidget because I've received a record number of requests. I mean, crazy number to review the poppet, which we have here right now, as well as the simple dimple. It looks a lot like a contact lens holder. And I have two others right here with one called Infinite Bubble Wrap, and we'll see where it stands compared to the others. We'll be rating them based on the following criteria of size and form factor, noise, which is a big deal, so it's worth twice the points, and satisfaction, which yielded some interesting results and is very important, so it's worth triple the points. And we'll see which one wins in the end. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can watch more videos just like this one and leave me all sorts of comments to let me know what I should check out or when something's not really a contact lens holder. And also, I'll make sure to put a link in the description below to each of these so you can take a look for yourself. Now let's check it out. First up is size and form factor, and standard bubble wrap is amazing because it's clear, and it can fit just about anywhere because it's packing material. The poppet comes in different shapes and colors, but it is quite a bit larger than the other ones we're reviewing today. It has one benefit though, which is it is very flexible. So if you wanna put it in your pocket and it's not gonna fit in this form, you can roll it up or bend it, and you might be able to put it somewhere where you normally couldn't. The infinite bubble wrap is quite small and quite thin. It can be connected to a keychain or a zipper on a backpack. The snappers is quite small, but it does have a little bit of depth to it, giving it a bit more bulk whenever you put it in your pocket. The simple dimple is extremely small and thin, and there is a larger version, but that's not what we're talking about in this video, so get out of here. This looks just like a contact lens holder. It's about the same size, which means it can go just about anywhere in your pocket, on your keychain, on a backpack zipper, you name it. Based on using volume for size and the form factor, we're gonna give the winner of this round to the Simple Dimple. It just barely edges out the infinite bubble wrap. Now this is round one of three, so stick around and see which one wins the entire thing. Next up is the noise level, and normal bubble wrap can be mildly annoying to jolting with those giant air pockets. And for a fidget toy and desk toy, you typically want it to be really quiet, so that's what we'll be looking for in this round. Both the Poppet and the Simple Dimple have a similar action with a rubber bubble that moves back and forth. There's not too distracting, but it is around 80 decibels. The Infinite Bubble Wrap makes a clicking sound as you press the buttons, as well as an electronic sound with a speaker that comes out of it every time you hit a button as well. This is the quietest, coming in at 70 decibels. Not too bad. The loudest is the snappers coming in at over 100 decibels, and I can't even imagine what it would be like being in a classroom in an office full of people using these things. For the noise level, the infinite bubble wrap takes the lead, and with double the points for this round, it's our new leader. Last, which is most important, is satisfaction. How much will you really want to use each of these? Now, to be as scientific as possible, because it's hard to measure, I created a survey and had people fill them out from different ages, and we had some interesting results and learned some interesting things about these fidget toys. First up is the Infinite Bubble Wrap, which had mixed results. I personally don't find it very satisfying, but there's others that loved it. The Snappers, although quite loud, is pretty enjoyable to use. The one problem we did run into is occasionally when you squeeze it together, the suction cups stick together and you have to squeeze the sides to get it unstuck. For the Poppet, we had some great first reactions when people first tried them. But that's where things got more complicated. You see, I have two of them from different companies. This yellow one works very well, and this orange one, not so much. And I'll make sure to put a link to this one in the description so you know which one to pick up. You see, whenever they manufacture these, if the thickness isn't right and the bubbles aren't centered or manufactured correctly, what you end up with is springiness and popping only in one direction. So this yellow one, you get this popping action in both directions, where this orange one, when you push it one way, it pops. The other way, it just kind of never gets to that popping point. You have to push your finger all the way through it just to kind of reset the bubbles. So it's only half as good. But the one that works really well, people did enjoy it. The Simple Dimple is very similar to the Poppet, but it's a little bit thicker and also has an emblem on one side, which gives it a little bit of feel to it. And because of that, I personally don't find it quite as good as the Poppet. Based on the surveys, the Poppet was the top for the satisfaction round. Let me know in the comments below which one you'd pick as the winner. Putting all the scores together, we have the Poppet and Simple Dimple tied for first place, the Infinite Bubble Wrap in second place, and in last place, not because it's not fun, but because it's loud, is the Snappers. Now that we've tested all of them, what would make the ultimate bubble fidget and desk toy? 
If we took the top two, took the satisfaction of the poppet and the size of the simple dimple, I think we'd have a great combo. And the way to do that, which I'm not gonna cut up my poppet here, would be probably to get it down to just one strip of a poppet and then be able to use that. Cutting it down to a single row or a dual row, they seem to function just fine, and I think this would make them a little bit smaller, and it'd be also great if they came in a little bit more of a subdued color for the office environment.